Well, the name says it all. Only a heathen would drive a piece of shit like this. Picked her up last night. Hasn't been running since 2005. Frame's really rotten. Power steering's rusted out and leaking. Well, there's what it could have looked like way back when. It was a local car from uh, Huron Motor Products in Exeter. Well, that's just uh, 15 kilometers north of here. He bought it back in end of 1991. And he paid 22151 for this piece of shit. But he had a trade-in, so he saved $9,500. It has got 414,287,000 kilometers. And a tack. And it's loaded. Well, this is one piece of shit that lasted for a long time. We don't know if it runs, but it was supposed to have been running two years ago. This thing's made of all plastic. Except the inside panels and underneath. It's pretty rusty. Looks real good because it's plastic. Well, that don't work. Got a World War II Army gas can in the back. Got the battery in. Let's go for a first try. Um, the throttle just stuck all the way down. I gotta go deal with that under the hood. And we got brake leaks. Oh yeah. There's where the fluid's leaking. Rot Here we go again. Oh ho! Sweet. Oh, I can't believe it. Two years of sitting on old gas. Fired up instantly. Hmm. Maybe I should let it warm up first. Sounds good, except the power steering pump is dry, so I better set it off. Hmm. I'll pick it up with a tractor now. And well, simple as that. Up on no wheels. Oh, we well, let's see the leaks. Now we have a transmission cooler pipe leak. Power steering low pressure hose cooler pipe leak, which I can just make a loop and bypass. Oh, a bit of an oil pan leak, but that's all right. Lots of rust and spider webs. That's good. It's Halloween tomorrow. We could use a few more spider webs. Lots of holes in the frame. But these ones aren't supposed to be there. Yeah, holes and crap. I guess I'll get some lawnmower blades, weld them in there and strengthen up the control arm mounts for the front wheels so we don't lose our steering. Oh, and there's the rear brake line pipe leak. Gotta pinch that off. Who needs rear brakes at Dave's farm? Fuck, oh, I gotta love it, a plastic gas tank. I don't have to modify that one. Let's get to work. Got all my leaky pipes fixed now. There's one bypass there for the tranny cooler. Two bypasses here for the tranny cooler. This thing's got dual radiator tranny coolers, one on each side. 
power steering is bypassed here. There's where it used to connect. There's the old cutoff lines. And like I said before, who needs rear brakes at Day's Farm? There's a pinched off rear brake line. And there's some mess it left for me. Big fender well holes. This is the kind when you go through a puddle in your van, you get wet feet and you wonder why. Load, get rid of that catalytic converter and that big fat piece of rusty muffler. Give it the redneck exhaust treatment. Get some re And there was more bees, please. Good thing they're all froze to death. We got a frost last night. We are ready to rumble. Here we go, we're starting up the, uh, the now redneck, uh, I love this song. Yeah, let's go for a test drive. First time. Well, first time with the camera. The first time with brakes, I fixed them. Still a bit mushy, but much better. The throttle sticks. Shit! I had to ruin my song because the throttle stuck. I got no power brakes. What the fuck? Fuck! Uh, I gotta go rework this machine. Ah, uh, it sticks all the time. What the fuck? Well, I discovered a few things about this vehicle in my initial adventures. It's 15 Celsius. That's 59 Fahrenheit. Easy one. Power windows work. Robert Q. Airbus with over. Yep, seems that all the cars we got now got power windows. We're living in luxury. Luxury for free. Just like millionaires. Have any any car you want loaded. Well, another thing I don't like about this car, it's got no beer holders. Just liquor holders. Beer bottle would fall out of there in a jump for sure, but that's pretty snug. That one might hit the passenger in the head, but who cares? Got a rev limiter too. Right, Wolf? I approve. This thing's fast. Take the exhaust off the 3.8. I think this thing has around 200 horse. It flies. Here we go. Look out, Wolf! Yeah! 